Tinatato Kato, good evening. The off duty Kiwi soldier killed while fighting in Ukraine was Corporal Dominic Abelin. He served with the Defence Force but was away on leave without pay at the time. An NZDF team was sent to the UK last year in support of Ukraine, but Abelin was not part of that contingent. His leave request did not specify that he would travel to Ukraine, and the NZDF says no personnel have been approved to enter the country. Political reporter Amelia Wade says Abelin also did not tell his family he was going. Corporal Dominic Ablin was in the army for 10 years but never got to fight for his country. He'd always wanted to risk his life for what he believed in. He sacrificed his life for others to have a life. His father Bryce didn't know his son was joining the war. He didn't tell us he was going to the Ukraine until he was there. He knew we would talk him out of it. He also knew the risks of going there but still went to fight for them. The soldier also didn't tell the army he was there on leave without pay. I also want to stress too that uh, at no point in time uh, since the conflict began uh, that any of our personnel have been authorised to enter into Ukraine. Eblin had been in Ukraine for three months and last week spoke to Today FM's Tova O'Brien. I'm here in Ukraine helping um, Ukraine maintain its independence and... Yeah, push back Russia. Ablin wanted to help. Good to put our skills to the test and the NZ Defence Force training is um, serving us well, I think. This is what they train to do. They're good, decent people. Former Defence Minister and soldier Ron Mark also felt that weight of duty and went to Ukraine in May. They see on one hand atrocities being committed, innocent civilians being slaughtered, and on the other hand, a skill set that they have and an ability to do something, yet their government clearly doesn't want to do it. Aaron Woods is a former rifleman. He's been working with about 100 current or former soldiers in Ukraine. I have um, contact with uh, another Kiwi who was there with him at the time uh, and, um, and uh, is, is reported to have taken around uh, to his chest plate, to his body armour. Uh, fighting alongside uh, Dominic. The entire situation is a complicated one. The job now is to find out more details. With details scarce, Defence Force and Foreign Affairs officials are working together. We will do everything that New Zealanders would expect us to do, as does the family, work with the Ukrainian government to bring the citizen home. A citizen, a son, a brother, whose family has a harrowing wait for him to come home. Amelia joins us now live from Parliament. Kia ora, Amelia. What are the complications of the government getting involved here? Yeah, I've been told there is a coordinated effort on the ground to bring Corporal Ablin home. And we understand that the current plan is for him to come home draped in a New Zealand flag. But the government is treading very carefully here and is at pains to make it clear that Ablin is being treated as a citizen and not a soldier. Every single statement is explicit that he was there without permission because the government knows that Russia is watching. So any implication that there were sanctioned Kiwi brutes on the ground in Ukraine would mean that that conflict is actually a world war. Amelia Tenakwe.